सर अस्सलाम वालेकुम वालेकुम अस्सलाम सर थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर योर टाइम एंड प्लीज अलाउ मी टू इंट्रोड्यूस यू सो वेलकम टू एनईडी यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी एंड थैंक यू फॉर योर टाइम एंड सपोर्ट फॉर एनईडी यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग टेक्नोलॉजी व्हिच इज द वन ऑफ द ओल्डेस्ट यूनिवर्सिटी इन पाकिस्तान एंड आल्सो आई बीइंग आई एम डॉक्टर असद आरफीन Uh, the director of the cyber security lab at NED and associate professor, and uh, I'm also thankful to you for visiting our uh, center for cyber security last month. And we hope that we we will be going to have a good collaboration in cyber security and uh, other areas. So uh, let me introduce our students. We have students from third year uh, of engineering of computer engineering and computer sciences, and uh, soon they will be entering their final year. and many of these students are interested in cyber security and computer networks so they are very eager to listen your talk and to students i also say assalam alaikum dear students uh, let me introduce dr sanaul abbasi dr sanaul abbasi is currently serving as a director general of the federal investigation agency you all know that federal investigation agency has the mandate of uh, controlling all the air force and the cyber space and the cyber crimes and other things in pakistan Uh, Dr. Abbasi is the recipient of Kaidi Azam Police Medal Award and also Pakistan Police Medal Award. And uh, Dr. Fran Sanand Abbasi has also remained the IGP of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa Police. And currently, Dr. Abbasi is very, very much interested in in securing Pakistan cyber space because uh, we, as a atomic power, uh, we are strong in military. But you know that this the coming ages of uh, of uh, cyber. so and sometimes many of our uh, national assets are being hacked by hackers so it's very great to see that dr abbasi is giving us so much attention uh, to this important area where we are not very strong so i once again uh, thank you dr abbasi aap ka bahut bahut shukriya aap aap hamare student ke time nikala so aap start kar sakte hain aur students aapke liye end mein 5 uh, to 6 questions ka time hoga inshallah thank you sir डायरेक्टर कंप्यूटर डिपार्टमेंट डायरेक्टर स्टूडेंट्स Uh, whenever we go, uh, we engage the younger generation because it constitutes the uh, more than seventy uh, percent of the population, and younger generation is the uh, uh, harbinger of the uh, positive change in any society. So it's very critical to engage the uh, younger generation. Uh, they too in the countries like us. because they have to lead the uh, society in future uh, so uh, this uh, uh, cyber uh, domain cyber domain is very important uh, nowadays uh, because it's a new domain uh, in comparison to the conventional uh, domains like sea domain land domain uh, materialistic domains including all these domains but this virtual domain is uh, critical because uh, now everything is being transmitted or transported or even uh, uh, translated into the virtual world uh, in the recent past particularly uh, because of the pandemic uh, everything uh, ranging from governance to the business uh, and uh, even the academics uh, it has been shifted towards virtual world so that's why it's critical uh, that's why we are now discussing it more so uh, just like a material world uh, where we are living uh, the human behavior because this cyber space is being inhabited uh, or regulated uh, by the human being so therefore it is imperative that uh, this cyber space is to be regulated uh, by somebody uh, because i will call it a social contract in the cyber domain if what is to be done and what is not to be done 
what is the use of cyberspace and what is the misuse of cyberspace? Uh, and what are the advantages of cyberspace and what are the disadvantages of the cyberspace? So when uh, the human being operates this cyberspace, so there must be uh, some contract uh, between the state and the citizens uh, because this is very imperative. Uh, there are negatives in the society and there are positives in the society. The negatives are to be diminished, contained, and the positive are to be uh, enhanced or facilitated. So that's why the role of the state is very important. So that's why this uh, uh, state has a right uh, to regulate the cyber domain. Human, uh, human uh, this behavior is regulated by the state. So keeping in view this dynamics of the cyberspace and human behavior, uh, state has a responsibility to regulate it. In that context, the state of Pakistan, they have legislated upon uh, to regulate the cyberspace and uh, they have uh, promulgated the, uh, the law that is known as a uh, prevention of electronics uh, crime act. Okay, what are the rights conferred by the state, by the society, uh, upon the citizens, and what are the responsibilities conferred by the society and by the state uh, to the citizen of any society? So that's why this law was promulgated. The main uh, ingredients of this law uh, particularly uh, were the defamation, dealing with defamation, pornography, uh, cyber terrorism, fraud, and et cetera, so many things. Uh, these were the uh, parameters which were mainly regulated by this act, in addition to other uh, parameters also. Now, what is the instrument of this enforcement of uh, uh, this law? Uh, this law has mandated the FIA to enforce it. Uh, FIA has been, FIA is the only legitimate agency to enforce this law, to implement this law. Uh, so the main uh, burden lies on the FIA. Uh, how the people get into touch with the FIA, uh, cyber ring? Uh, there are so many access points, uh, like emails. We receive the emails, complaints through emails. Uh, through walk-in, the citizen of Pakistan can walk into the, uh, the offices of uh, cyber crime units that are situated, located in every uh, provincial headquarters. And number, uh, the, the last one is correspondence. We receive the applications also uh, through postal uh, department. So these are the mainly access points where we receive the complaints. Then we start inquiring into this whole, uh, the problems. Then finally, it will translate it into investigations. We have also given a facility of e-investigation, meaning thereby that uh, if a complaint is received by email, we investigate and collect the data through emails, video conferences, or video calls even, with, uh, obviously with uh, security uh, parameters. Therefore, finally, we collect the evidence or we collect the data which is relevant to the case and then we challenge these or submit these, this data to the courts because final arbitration, uh, final verdict is to be given by the courts. So they uh, either equal the people or they convict the people. So the, the conviction obviously will create a deterrence in the society. If anybody commits a crime, 
and he is uh, he or she is being convicted then it creates deterrence but we have to create a certainty of a punishment not the severity of punishment it's a philosophy of punishment uh, so that's why i am uh, discussing with you uh, this philosophy of uh, punishment now i am coming to the capacity of uh, fia uh, FIA is very, very resource deficit uh, because uh, we have only approximately uh, uh, 4,000 uh, human resource and only five uh, forensic labs in entire Pakistan. Visa is challenges. The last year, uh, last to last year, uh, we received uh, 58,000 complaints. Uh, in the last year, which has passed, uh, we received one like uh, complaints. So these are the, the huge quantum of complaints uh, with this meager resources. Uh, despite these meager, meager resources, uh, we try to perform the best. Uh, we achieved uh, in the last last year, we achieved uh, uh, approximately 19 uh, convictions. In the last year, we can, uh, received, uh, uh, succeeded in convicting the 38 cases uh, with the inclusion of so many accused. So these are the mainly in the land uh, this, uh, this year, in the uh, month of January, uh, we succeeded in convicting the four people in the 25 uh, days of January, I will, we received uh, 5,000 complaints in these uh, 25 days. And 79 people has been arrested in these uh, 25 days. However, the international cooperation is very critical because uh, uh, as you know, that uh, uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter, and all these uh, uh, media giants, uh, they are owned by uh, the people uh, inhabited uh, in overseas. Therefore, uh, their cooperation is very, very seriously important because uh, we have to retrieve the evidence uh, from these uh, uh, media uh, forums. Therefore, uh, sometimes we are getting a positive response. Uh, sometimes we are not uh, getting the response. Uh, the, with the Facebook topping the, uh, the, the uh, actual uh, forum uh, to be in the forefront, so uh, what is a way forward? Uh, way forward are uh, so many things we are embarking upon uh, some transition uh, from, I will say, from zero to the self-actualized goals of uh, uh, zero tolerance or zero uh, cyber crime uh, actualization. Very difficult task, very challenging task, but we have embarked upon a journey. Uh, may Allah succeed us. The first and foremost is awakening to the public uh, because uh, uh, people don't know uh, that uh, this domain uh, exists in context of uh, criminology. And number two, uh, particularly the youth, uh, because uh, this uh, mostly complaints we receive are from the students. So they must know what is to be done and what not to be done. What are the positives and what are the negatives? What constitutes the cyber crime and what does not constitute the cyber crime? So it must be, uh, we are we are embarked upon uh, the educating the youth. And this is one of the uh, uh, rather uh, item agenda that uh, 
I am giving a delivering a lecture, uh, a talk with you people uh, as an awakening campaign to the younger generation. Number two, capacity building uh, of the law enforcement, particularly FIA, which is dealing with the cyber crime. We have initiated two projects uh, enhancing the human resource capacity and the forensic lab capacity. So that is also critical. And number uh, third is international cooperation, uh, which I have already informed you that this is very critical. Uh, we are engaging the international uh, media agents through Interpol. Uh, the DGFIA is the chief of Interpol, uh, international police uh, in Pakistan, in every country. So we are engaging uh, other countries, uh, other these uh, uh, media agents uh, through Interpol. Number two is the, we are creating a stakes of these international giant media giants in Pakistan that law enforcement should be very, uh, become very easier. Because when we create an stakes of these people, uh, they will be uh, more enforceable. So these two steps are uh, very critical in international cooperation, so far as these uh, media agents are concerned. The fourth one is uh, uh, educating the younger generation and uh, engaging with uh, research programs which are being conducted in the universities. Because universities are the strategic assets to us, uh, to even to the entire society, uh, to every country. We have signed a memorandum of understanding uh, with uh, so many universities. The government of Pakistan has spotted seven universities in the entire Pakistan. There, this is cyber security programs, or research programs are being conducted. The NAD uh, university being one of them. Uh, the others are located in uh, Islamabad, uh, but in NAD is included among this, uh, these uh, seven universities. The, uh, the, the another point which I need to mention here, that uh, uh, we are living in a post truth era where emotions are important rather than facts. And uh, fifth generation warfare is being unleashed uh, in Pakistani society. Uh, therefore, uh, there are so many things uh, which may not be true, uh, but are being uh, made viral on the uh, social medias. So this is very, very important. Because of this uh, post-truth period and because of the fifth generation warfare, we need to synergize our own efforts. Uh, I will call it a multi-domain synergy, meaning thereby that all stakeholders, the law enforcement, universities, academia, and the society as itself, they should join the hands and try to resolve the complex issues. Uh, because uh, com uh, we are living in a very world which is full of complex issues. Uh, complex issues are the unpredictable, uh, fastly changing. So for this complex world, we have to synergize our efforts, uh, having this multi-domain synergy. Uh, finally, uh, I will talk about the two important challenges which we are entering into the domain of unknown, at least to us, not to the world at large, but to us. One is a challenge of virtual currency, and the second is the cyber security. So uh, that the society, though engaged in uh, this uh, virtual currency business, particularly the uh, younger generation, I will not uh, talk about uh, 
the legitimacy or illegitimacy of virtual currency. It is for the policy makers to make some decision uh, to legalize it or to illegalize it. But the crime if committed uh, by anybody will be dealt with by the FIA. Uh, so that's why uh, we are also engaged in this uh, virtual currency dynamics also. Yet to see uh, what will be the future shape of uh, these things, but we are also engaged in this, uh, this dynamics, virtual currency dynamics. And the last one is cybersecurity. Uh, cybersecurity is a very vast subject uh, though we can uh, sometimes uh, uh, we differentiate between cyber crime and cyber security, but somewhere they meet each other uh, because uh, cyber security uh, it's a mega mega domain. Uh, cyber as, uh, crime is uh, I think it's a lesser domain, but somewhere they meet. Therefore. This is also important to explore the cyber security dynamics or issues. We are also trying to investigate the two cyber attacks. Uh, one was uh, in the FBR, uh, Federal Bureau of Revenue, and uh, second was the national uh, cyber attack in the National Bank of Pakistan. So we are investigating these uh, two, uh, two crimes cybersecurity issues. So these two were very new to us, uh, but we are exploring the, the dynamics of these two things. Uh, very challenging, though uh, yet to be unknown to us, uh, not I will call it, it is still unknown to us, uh, but we are entering into the uh, unknown domain, uh, domain of unknown. So inshallah, hopefully, uh, with the support of academia, with the support of younger generation, with the support of academicians, and uh, supported by the, this uh, research program conducted in the universities, uh, we will succeed in uh, this virtual currency dynamics and cyber security issues. Uh, at the end, uh, I am very thankful to the faculty and the director and the students, uh, which are very dear and near to me. Uh, they have given me a patient here.